Julia. Um, November 11th is origami day, so we are going to learn how to make paper cranes. But before we did that, I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about the history. Um, paper cranes, or at least this version of them, probably originated in the Edo period, but um, there's a more modern meaning associated with them uh, regarding World War II. So in World War II, um, the United States dropped an atomic bomb on Hiroshima. Uh, it killed 70,000 people, around 70,000 people in the initial blast. But there was also um, adverse health effects, you know, from the residual effects of the atomic bomb. Um, and so many people became sick or died even several years after the bomb was dropped. And one of those people was Sadaku Sasaki. Now, when Sadaku was sick, she began making paper cranes. And so there is this legend, and again, I got some conflicting information exactly what it means, but that you would make a thousand paper cranes and either that your wish would come true or that it would bring you good health or happiness or longevity. Um, but in any case, she did begin making these paper cranes. Um, sadly, Sadaku did pass, but in order to honor her, and we will often put um, paper cranes at the Children's Peace Monument, which is located at the Peace Memorial Park in Hiroshima. Um, and people worldwide make cranes now to honor her memory and to honor hopes of peace. So um, just keep that in mind today as you're learning to make these. Um, I will say <laughs> it took me a few tries to learn how to make these, so uh, don't feel shy to rewatch the video. Um, and stay tuned!
for watching. Um, if you're interested in learning a little bit more about Sudaku or um, origami, uh, just look at the list of resources below and then under that are um, kind of the resources I consulted in order to make this video. You can find those resources at the Scott County Public Library website under our e-resources tab. Bye!